What do you think gave Tanika her waves? Is it the length of time? So no product, water only, but the twist stayed in for hey 24 guys, hours. Curl House. I'm a licensed cosmetologist and a certified trichologist. And today we are going to talk about length retention, but I'm going to talk about length retention more specific to twist out. So I get a lot of questions on how I can retain my length. I know a lot of girls rock twist outs, like that is one of the signature styles of natural hair, doing a twist out. Now, when I first went natural, twist out was my signature style. Oh, I love rocking myself a good twist out. But what I did because of my hair texture, I, tw I would twist it up at night have a fabulous twist out the next day, but every night I would retwist my hair or reset it. Now, what I didn't realize then, that was about 15 years ago that I know now, the more you manipulate your hair, including t twisting and retwisting, that is what gradually causes your hair to break off which is why people will go into protective styles, such as this one. These are just some basic two-strand twists, nothing spectacular. So my hair is just all twisted up and it's just tucked away with a few bob pins. So I have a little advice for my twist out girls. Things, something that you may not be doing that you may want to consider if you're rocking the twist out so that you minimize the manipulation of constantly retwisting your hair. So let me ask you something. When you're doing your twist out, do you think it is time that makes your hair wavy or product that makes your hair wavy? Which one? Well, let's ask Tanika. This is Tanika. Tanika's gonna help us answer that question. So what I've done with Tanika's hair I have twisted her hair on two sides. This side, I twisted it using twisting cream. So I actually put a product in her hair. On the other side, on the left side, I twisted it with just water only. Wait a minute, I said that completely, <laughs> completely wrong. Let's do that again. Okay, on this side is the water only side. I use no product, I just wet it and I twisted it. On the left side, I actually twisted it and put in a twisting cream. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to untwist Tanika's hair so that we can see what it actually looks like. All right, so here we go. Here's Tanika. I have removed her twist. So again, this side is the side that's water only, no product, just water. The twist on the water only side stayed in for 24 hours. Now, the twist on the other side that had the curl, the cream in it, the twisting cream, these twists stayed in only for two hours. Two hours on this side, 24 hours on this side. What do you think gave Tanika her waves? Is it the length of time? So, no product, water only, but the twist stayed in for 24 hours, or was it the twisting cream that I put in her hair to give her hair the waves? Which one do you think it is? Hmm. Okay, to answer the question, well, it's a trick question. What actually gives hair wave or Tanika's hair the wave is the water that was in her hair. Water, when you put water in your hair, it temporarily changes the hydrogen bonds of your hair. So in other words, you wet your hair, you twist it, you braid it, you bantu knot it, and you let it set, and it takes on that shape. Now, in Tanika's hair, the side where we put water only, what gave her this shape was, yes, one, the water, but more importantly in this example was two, time. It's because I let her twist stay in longer. That is why her hair is so wavy on this side because I let it stay in for 24 hours. On the other side where I put in twisting cream only, this side, the twisting cream is what helped to enhance the curl because it only stayed in for two hours. So 
Both sides are wavy, but because this stayed in for 24 hours with no product, then we were able to achieve maximum waves on this side as well. So as it relates to your twist style and length retention, so now let me bring it all together for you. If you are someone who loves rocking two strand twists, if that is your thing, I encourage you to let time be on your side when you are wearing your twist out. So in other words, when you two strand twist your hair, as opposed to keeping your twist in for a day or even for two days, try to keep your twist in for a few days. So the longer you keep your twist in, the longer you let your twist set, the more defined the waves are going to be. So in Tanika's hair, yes, you can see her waves, but had I let it stay in for 36 hours or even for 48 hours, the waves would have been even tighter than this. So with your hair, if you let your twist stay in for a few days and when you untwist it, the twist, your twist style or your waves are going to be so tight and so defined that you're not going to have to retwist it every night because the twists are going to be super defined. Now, disclaimer because we all have different textures, usually the finer the hair, the less inclined the hair, the hairstyle lasts. But so the course of the hair, typically normally the hairstyle and the twist out will last longer. But just generally speaking, if you are someone who wears twist outs, I encourage you to keep your twist in for a couple of days so that when you untwist it and when you rock your twist out, those twists are going to be super defined and you may not have to retwist every single night. And if you're not manipulating your hair by retwisting it every night, then you're going to be able to retain more length. Okay, as I said, my hair has been twisted for five days. So I'm gonna take these twists out so that you can see just how super defined my hair is. All right, here we go. Hair is untwisted. These curls are locked and loaded and I do not need to retwist this hair for several days. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video, picked up some tips on how you can minimize retwisting your hair every night to retain more length. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already, and until we talk again, stay fabulous.